special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Secure 204 here bringing you another Minecraft BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the World War II Japanese cruiser Yohagi. Yohagi was an Anglo-class cruiser which served with the Imperial Japanese Navy known as the IGN during World War II. Yohagi was the third of four vessels completed in the Anglo class of light cruisers which were intended to replace increasingly obsolete light cruisers in the Imperial Japanese Navy. Funding was authorized in the 4th Naval Armament Supplement Program of 1939, although uh, construction was delayed due to lack of capacity in Japanese shipyards, like other vessels of her class, Yohagi was intended to, or intended for use as a flagship of a destroyer flotilla. Uh, Yohagi itself, more, specific, more specifically as a ship, was uh, commissioned in the uh, 29th of December 1943 and uh, was sunk on April 7th, 1945 by uh, U.S. Navy aircraft and um, everything like that. So overall, it was just a uh, Japanese uh, cruiser intended to replace older cruisers and was basically designed to be a uh, uh, command point for uh, destroyer flotillas. Uh, so overall, it's a pretty cool ship. I had a lot of fun building it and uh, it's uh, cool to have some BAFTA builds coming back into uh, play and stuff. So I was really happy to uh, be able to build it, build an air bath to build. Um, so this uh, ship here was a Patreon request, so I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter The Red Deer for uh, basically sponsoring this video, making this vehicle possible. Uh, with his small donation, uh, small donation on uh, Patreon, he earns a vehicle of his choosing every month, and uh, this month he decided to go ahead and go with this ship. So uh, thank you, Red Deer, for supporting the channel, and if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and earning a vehicle of your request uh, pretty much every month, uh, feel free to go ahead and check out the link in the description and head over to my uh, Patreon page and uh, feel free to uh, support the channel if you uh, want to do so. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the ship uh, real quick and then we'll go ahead and pop into the tutorial. So, uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll move our way, work our way from the front to the back. Uh, so, up and up right here, pretty standard. You have basically your sections here where your anchors would be located. Uh, their chains you can see the anchors right here up at the front represented by these uh wither skeleton schools uh right there uh moving our way back you have your uh, front two uh turrets uh these are i forget the size of these turrets but uh you know obviously a cruiser they're decent sized turrets no battleship guns by all means but uh they still have are pretty decent guns so we got two turrets uh turret one and two up in the front uh, continuing on, we start to get into bits of the superstructure. Uh, you can see we got pretty much the conning tower right right here, which uh, the bridge will be located at this level right in here. And uh, we got a lot of, you know, walkways around and just various things like that uh, for, you know, obviously where uh, crew and stuff like that could stand out the balconies and obviously observation points and stuff like that. There would be a lot of little instruments and stuff like that around here. Uh, for, you know, <coughs> obvious things, observation and stuff like that for the bridge. Uh, continuing on, we have a lot of these uh, little, I believe they were 20 mil guns uh, positioned uh, basically along the side of the ship. Uh, I believe they're 20 mils, could be wrong, 20 mil anti-air guns. Uh, but they were just kind of just guns sit on a stand on the deck, uh, no kind of emplacements. So uh, that's what I think they were. So that's what we kind of have going on here with the levers. Uh, you have a secondary battery, which was just some smaller guns uh, located on the sides here. There's only uh, two of them, uh, one on each side, so that's right there. Uh, we have the mast right here, nothing too fancy for it, just a simple mast. Uh, going back, we have ourselves a smokestack, or the, the stack right there for the uh, engine. Uh, this is an interesting part right here. It actually had a, a section here for launching um, seaplanes. Uh, so we have a design here for a Japanese seaplane. Uh, I have to give credit to my friend the Red Deer for uh, coming up with this nice little design for it. It uh, actually works out pretty well for, you know, being such a small little plane. Uh, I guess that would technically be a 1 to 5 scale plane. So uh, very happy with the way that came out um, and uh, looks pretty good. So they have a whole catapult system and everything like that uh, located on this uh, section up here. Uh, continue back, you just have some more kind of parts of the superstructure, another mast in the back here, a crane for obviously the uh, seaplanes and stuff like that. So, got the crane right there. 
going back, we have a uh, our third turret, last turret on the back here. There's also uh, some uh, little uh, positions right in here. Could be uh, A positions, not 100% sure, but it had these little positions in the back here. And then we also had uh, some uh, uh, depth charge uh, launchers, also in the back here, represented by the skeletal schools. And uh, there we throw that. And going to the bottom here, nothing too fancy. Uh, you know, just a kind of standard shape for the hole. And we got ourselves our four props uh, on the back there. And uh, that's pretty much the ship. It's uh, pretty much completely symmetrical. I think the only asymmetrical bit is this uh, one section right here. There's an iron trapdoor on this side when there's not one over here. So uh, there's like one asymmetrical section. And that's basically it. Uh, it's pretty symmetrical and uh, pretty standard ship and looks pretty nice. So anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, uh, layer one. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and working on layer one. Now, for these first few layers, I'm going to be doing basically half on camera, half uh, off. It's uh, just, you know, to cut down on the, you know, the length of the tutorial and all that stuff. Uh, but it's basically symmetrical on both sides, which we start getting into the superstructure and stuff like that. I'll uh, switch back to probably doing it all on camera. Uh, but just for the kind of the hole and everything like that, pretty much our first three layers, I'm going to be doing it uh, half on camera, half off, just to make it easier on myself and uh, kind of cut down some tutorial time on uh, some of our tedious layers so uh, to start off with we're going to start off with basically layer one now one thing i want to make sure you guys know real quick is that for layer one we're going to be placing down brick top slabs you can see these are all brick top slabs just like that now what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start with the center line and we want to make sure we position this right so as you can see it's basically one block in our water our water level would be at this level right here as you can see with this blue wool and our top slabs are basically right underneath it so just like that and you want to make sure that you have that exactly right because if not your ship is going to be too low in the water if uh the other way around it's basically too high it's going to be sitting too high in the water so you want to make sure it's at this point exactly to make sure it fits exactly right and we can just go and delete those blocks because pretty much we know where we need to build these now so once we have that figured out we're going to take our uh brick slabs and we're going to want to place down a row of 31 of brick top saps. So this can be the very center line of your ship going all the way down from the front to back uh, So a row of 31 brick top saps. Uh And our front is going to be up here. We're gonna be building the ship basically facing this direction So decide what side you want to be the bow and work back from that So we're gonna have the bow up here in the front. So we're gonna go ahead and count. We have one brick top sap. We have two three four five six seven eight nine and ten we're gonna go to our 11th slab. We're gonna place down a brick top slab coming off the side of the, coming off the side of that slab. And so we have one right here. And along the side here, we're gonna run a row. So we have one brick top slab, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. If you did that right, you should have a total of 17 brick top slabs along the second row. On the end here, you should have a total of four top slabs that stick out uh, basically from this row of three right here. And going up to the front here, you should have a total of 10 of these uh, top slabs that stick out from this row of three right here. And uh, you should see that the front of our ship, the bow, it uh, has a longer kind of single row of top slabs. And the, and the uh, stern of the ship has a shorter row, just like that. So with that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our second rows, basically on either side here. We're going to take our brick top slabs, we're going to go ahead and count uh, basically a few blocks back. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and go to our 7th block in that in these uh, rows of 17 here. So we have our 7th block here, we're going to place down a brick top slab coming off that block. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, and 4 blocks after it. So we have a row of 5 along the side there, just like that. If you did that right, we should have a total of 1 and basically uh, six of these rows of three that come out from this uh, section of rows of five and also coming to the back here we should have a total of uh, six also of these rows of three working their way back like so so uh, make sure you guys have that exactly right here's a bit of an overview for it uh, to make sure that you know it's absolutely correct and all that stuff once you guys have that done make sure you copy exactly what we did over here on the right side over to the left side and with that all done, we are good to go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the front of our ship, the bow. 
And uh, you'll remember this is it's the longer section right here of the single row of brick top slabs. We're going to go ahead and basically start off by building off of there. So we're going to go to the very front top slab on the very end. We're going to place down a red hard and stay fake block on top of the brick top slab. We then want to place down one, two, three, and four, and five more uh, red stay clay blocks after this first one. So you have a row of six of red stain uh, clay. Go ahead and go it off of our uh, fifth block right here back. We're going to place down a brick top slab. So you can see it's your second to last, uh, you know, red stay clay block from the front. We're going to place down a brick top slab just like that. We then want to grab ourselves uh, brick stairs. We're going to place down a brick stair uh, located. Uh, right here at, like this coming off of this red stake we block here And then we want to place down an upside down brick quarter stair just like that after the stair just like that And again, this is gonna be the same thing over there on that side as well on the back of this red stake we block We're gonna place down one two three and four red stake we blocks go back we want to go ahead and go to our uh, uh, Basically our second red stake we block here for the for the back of the stair we're going to place down one and two brick top slabs coming off of it, followed by a brick upside down stair. We then want to place down a second brick upside down stair, followed by a upside down uh, st brick stair. Just like that, upside down corner stair. So you have two top slabs, two upside down stairs, and then a upside down corner stair. We're then going to take red stake paint blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven red stake paint blocks back like that. With that done, we're then going to take our uh, brick slabs again. We're going to place down a brick uh, stair face this direction, upside down like this, like so. Followed by one and two brick upside down corner stairs. Followed by one and two brick top slabs. On the inside here of these top slabs, we're going to take our red hardened stake clay. We're going to place down one and two red hardened stake clay blocks like so. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves uh, brick stairs. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair like that. Coming off that red stake clay block. Followed by a brick upside down quarter stair. Uh, then uh, in between the basically the quarter stairs here on top of this uh, last brick top slab on the end here. We're going to place down a red stake paint block. Followed by a second red stake paint block back. Uh, we then want to place down a brick upside down stair like so. And then we'll on the back of it like that to kind of create the rudder. With that done the last thing we need to do for this layer is just go ahead and take our end rods. And also our sandstone, sandstone slabs. We're going to place down an end rod coming off this quarter stair. Followed by a sandstone slab. Also, come off this uh, brick top slab. We're going to place down an end rod and also a sandstone half slab for our propellers. With that done, we should have something that looks just like this from above. You're going to take the same as that we do over here on the right side and copy it over to the left side. And once you guys have that all finished, you guys will be done with uh, layer two. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer three. One quick thing I want to throw in real quick is just to make sure, again, that you guys have this at the right level so that you guys don't have to go back and redo a lot of stuff if you realize you, uh, your layer is wrong. Basically, your water level, you want it to be at this point right here. So these the tops of these blocks will be pretty much above the water, and then you're going to have water basically level to the sides of the blocks, just like this, running along the side here, like so. I just, again, want to make sure that that's very clear to make sure that you guys don't waste your time doing the rest of the ship and realize that... Uh, or maybe a few layers in realize that it's sticking out of the water or it's too deep underwater uh, or it just looks weird. So uh, make sure that that's correct. And with that, we can go ahead and continue on to layer three. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, we want to go ahead and start off by going to our red stake paint block on the very front bow of our ship. We're going to place down a polished ASI block on top of it, followed by one, two, and three more polished ASI blocks after it. So you have a nice row of four uh, like so. After you have that done, we're going to take oak wood uh, planks and we're going to place down a row of 29 of oak wood planks back from this polished ASI block. It's going to run all the way back down here to pretty much uh, the back here of the ship. Uh, you'll see here that we have this uh, brick upside down stair pretty much in row with these with this uh, these uh, two sets of uh, propellers, uh, props on both sides. You can see that the oak wood plank ends kind of in this row right here. So that's a good way to kind of base it, make sure your measurements are correct. But again, that's uh, 32 uh, blocks, or sorry, my bad, 29 blocks uh, of oakwood planks. Uh, we then want to place down two polished ASA blocks on the rear, rear here so that we have uh, one polished ASA block that sticks out past this brick stair by one, like that. For our next row here, we're going to go ahead and go to our uh, second uh, polished ASA block right here. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, like so. We then want to place down a stone brick upside down corner stair, like that after it. We're then going to take our polished ASI blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four polished ASI blocks. 
Uh, coming off the last three polished data set blocks, we're going to take cobblestone walls and we're going to place down one, two, and three. Uh, after those cobblestone walls, we're going to take polished data set blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, polished data set blocks back. We're going to grab ourselves a sign and we're going to place down a sign on the side here of the six block. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go and continue on with polished data site. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 polished data site blocks back. With that done, we're going to take cobblestone walls. We're going to place down 1, 2, and 3. Cobblestone walls back, just like that. On the inside here of these cobblestone walls, we're going to take polished data set blocks. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, and 5 polished data set blocks back, like so. Uh, after your fifth polished data set block, we're going to place down uh, basically just a cobblestone wall that uh, comes off the end of that row. Just like that, your side, it should meet up with this polished data set block there in the center to kind of round off the back. Uh, with that finished, we then want to go ahead and fill in the remaining space on the inside here with oak wood planks. So just go ahead and fill this all in uh, to create the... Uh, basically the uh, very base of the deck for our uh, ship and uh, once we have that all done that's going to pretty much do it for layer three and uh, with that we're going to move on to our next layer layer four all right guys so going ahead and moving on to layer uh, four now layer four is probably going to be our most complicated layer we have a lot of detail and a lot of stuff to do for this layer and we also have a lot of structuring for future layers so it's very important that you pay close attention and make sure you get it right i'll be building all this layer on uh, camera so there won't be any half on half off um, so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go, ahead and go to the very front the bow of our ship we're going to place down a polished data set block on top of one up in the front here just like that we then want to place down a wither skeleton skull on either side of that polished data set block followed by a stone brick up sail stair coming off the polished data set block toward the front and that's going to be the very front tip of your ship uh, with that done we then want to take our polished data set blocks we're going to place down a row of three after this polished ASA block like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on by taking stone brick slabs. Which I'm going to go ahead and grab here now. Uh, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick slabs. We then want to place down a stone brick stair. On either side on top of those stone brick corner stairs. Uh, and then we're going to place down a stone brick half slab in between the stairs like so. Uh, with that uh, finished. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden pressure plate. We're going to place down one on top of those polished ASA blocks on either side. Uh, we will need to grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate because we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate on this uh, this uh, uh, oak wood plank like so and we're going to have it opened up toward the back. We're then going to place down a polished ASA block followed by an upside down stone brick stair coming off the back of it like that uh, to kind of get started on our first turret. Uh, we will also need to grab ourselves a skeleton skull and on the side here of this polished ASA block on your side we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that. Uh, taking wooden pressure plates, we're going to place down a wooden pressure plate on top of this polished data set block on both sides as well. Uh, going ahead and continuing back, coming back from the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by a wooden pressure plate on either side like that. Uh, going back from this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down one, two, and three polished data set blocks back, followed by one, two, and three cobblestone walls on either side of these polished data set blocks. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers. We're going to place down a lever on this uh, polished air like block here on both sides. Make sure it's flicked out toward the sides there, like that, uh, on both sides. We're then going to place down a wooden pressure plate on both sides on the polished air site block there. And then again, levers uh, both flicked out to the outsides there on either side. Continuing on, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of polished air site, followed by a wooden pressure plate on either side. Uh, we're then going to place down another row of three of polished andesite, followed by a lever flicked out to the sides again on both sides for those 20 mil A guns I was talking about earlier. Uh, we're then going to place down a row of five of polished andesite, all the way across like this, followed by a dark open fence gate opened up like so on both sides to represent our secondary guns. And uh, you want to make sure again that these wooden trap doors are open so that they look like they connect to these full blocks. Same thing for this gun up at the front here, uh, just make sure that that's like that and correct. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three of polished nanosite with a wooden pressure plate on both sides. Uh, again, we're going to place down another row of three of polished nanosite, followed by a lever flicked out to both sides, um, like that. When we get back to this section here, uh, we're going to place down a polished nanosite block that sticks out uh, kind of toward the back here, followed by a cobblestone wall on either side, like that. 
Uh, we also want to grab ourselves some stone buttons. We're going to place a stone button on this polished ASA block and also on the second one back. Same thing over here, just two stone buttons on the side there. On the very center uh, uh, oakwood plank here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that. Uh, we then want to take polished ASA, we're going to place down a polished ASA block on the back of the stair. And then we want to go ahead and go out to the sides here and place down a polished ASA block like that on either side. We're going to have these gaps of one, uh, like so. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down an air polished ASA block, come off the center here, followed by a stone brick upside down stair, like this on both sides. Uh, we also want to go ahead and go back and grab ourselves a lever again, and we're going to place down a lever on both sides, flicked out to the sides, uh, like so. With uh, that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished ASA block in the center again, like so, followed by a cobblestone wall on the, f on the far sides, like that, we'll leaving a space of one in between the cobblestone walls and that polished ASA full block. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick half slab right here like so, followed by a wooden trap door on those two polished andesite blocks on either side. For our next row here, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite. We're going to grab ourselves a end rod, place down an end rod on both sides like so. Uh, with that done, we also want to go ahead and go to our uh, right side of the ship, and only the right side, we're going to go ahead and go to this polished andesite block here. We're going to place down one iron trap door that comes off of it like so and again this is only on the right side not on the left side so you want something that looks just like that and that's pretty much the only asymmetrical part of this build so just like that uh with that done uh going ahead and taking our polished data site we're going to place down a row of five across just like this uh once you have that done we're going to go and take our uh polished data site place down a row of three and then we're going to grab ourselves uh some wooden pressure plates again place down a wooden pressure plate on both sides uh, once we get to this point here, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs, followed by a lever on both sides, again flicked out toward the outsides. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a polished ASA block in the center, followed by a stone brick stair like this on either side. Again, we're going to take a lever, flick it out on either side, just like that. Continuing on, we're going to place down a polished ASA block in the center, followed by a stone brick upside down stair on uh, both sides like that, followed by a wooden pressure plate off the uh, fronts of the stairs, just like that on those polished andesite blocks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and again place down a row of three of polished andesite, followed by a lever, again on both sides, flicked out to the sides, like so. Uh, with that finished, uh, go into the back here, we're going to place down a wooden pressure plate on those two polished andesite blocks on the sides, followed by an upside down stone brick stair, just like that in the very middle. We're then going to place down a polished andesite block on the back of the stair, and then we're going to follow it up and place it down a skeleton skull on either side of that polished andesite block. Basically, we're starting turret 3 right now. Uh, we then want to take a dark oak wood fence gate. We're going to place it down and come off the front of this polished data side block. We're going to have it opened up so it looks like it connects like that for the uh, barrels of the guns. And then we're just going to place down a wooden pressure plate on both sides like so. Uh, with that finished, we're then going to take an iron trap door. We're going to place down an iron trap door on these two polished data side blocks. We will need to go ahead and grab ourselves some signs and also some uh, item frames. We're going to place down signs around these sides of the uh, wooden trap doors so the back side and the uh, side basically the side of the ship here and on the inner sides in here we're going to place down item frames like so and then uh, on this section on the back here we're also going to place down item frames uh, like that on both sides like that to create these little positions like so uh, we also want to grab ourselves a redstone uh, repeater we're going to place it down like this on the back here we're going to flick, flick it back to its uh, max length so you have something that looks like that on the back and then uh, lastly we're just going to place down a skeleton skull on these two uh, cobblestone walls there and we're just going to take our end rods we're going to place down one two and three end rods going up like that uh, for the very back uh, like so just to get that out of the way so we don't have to worry about that later uh, anyways that's going to pretty much uh, do it for uh, layer four for, as you can see we have a nice basis established for the build a lot of this is we're just going to be building upon and uh, we're going to start getting into a lot more detail as we work our way up anyways guys uh, that's going to uh, do it for layer four let's go ahead and move on to layer five all right guys so going ahead and moving on to layer five now for layer five what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to the front of the ship up here on top of this stone brick upside down stair we're going to place down two end rods that uh, go up like that just again to make sure that we don't have to worry about putting an end rod on in uh, future layers so we're just going to put that up all the way anyways after that we're going to place down uh one and two uh basically redstone dust lines like that going back uh we want to grab ourselves stone buttons we're going to place that stone button on both sides like so 
and this is meant to represent kind of our anchor chain that would run on the top deck here. Uh, with that finished, on top of this uh, turret here, we're going to place down a stone button on top of this polished nanosite block. Uh, going ahead and working our way back, we're going to place down a polished nanosite block on top of this cobblestone wall right here, followed by a dark oak fence gate that comes off of it like so. This is going to be the start of turret 2 right here. Uh, we're going to place down a skeleton school on either side of the polished nanosite block, followed by a upside down stone brick stair uh, coming off of it like so. Uh, we then just want to place down an iron trap door on both sides of the upside down stair, just like that. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall uh, on the center here, like that going back. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a stone brick half slab, place it down on top of that polished nanosite block, followed by an iron trap door like this on both sides. Uh, we then want to take signs and we're going to wrap it around the side here of the iron trap door right here and also this side, so these two sides only. Same thing over here, this side, and this side of the iron trap door like so. Uh, with that finished, we're going to place down a polished ASA block here in the center, followed by a stone brick stair on either side like so. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go ahead and again, uh, basically place down two uh, polished ASA blocks back, followed by two stone brick stairs back on either side, uh, just like that. When you get to this point here, we're going to place down a row of three of stairs to go across the back here, so we're going to have a corner stair on either side and a stone brick stair there in the center. On top of this uh, polished ASA block here in the center, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves end rods, and we want to place down an end rod on top of those two cobblestone walls, uh, just like that. Uh, with that finished, on top of this uh, stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, like so, followed by one, uh, one and two polished andesite blocks back. And on top of this uh, cobblestone, uh, or sorry, this uh, stone brick upside stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on either side. Now, on top of this uh, polished andesite block right here. On both sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, iron trap door. Uh, we will need to go ahead and grab ourselves an iron frame, and we are also going to need to grab ourselves a glass block. And what we're going to do is we're going to place down an iron frame coming off the uh, uh, iron trap door with a glass block in it to represent searchlights uh, or big spotlights on the sides there. And that's going to be on both sides there. Uh, with that finished, uh, we then want to take stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a row of three across just like this followed by a iron trap door on both sides like so uh with that finished uh we're gonna go ahead and take our uh signs which we can go ahead and grab uh from right here we're gonna go ahead and take signs and basically wrap it around this side and uh this side of the iron trap door so only those two sides and same thing right here uh just like that with that finished uh we're gonna go ahead and take our iron trap doors we're gonna go, ahead and go back from this one one two and three and same thing over here, one, two, and three, iron trap doors back. And then we just want to go ahead and take signs and also wrap it around this iron trap door on this side and this side as well. And then going ahead and going over here, we're going to do the same thing. So this side right here and this side like that. Now on the inner side right in here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, some uh, stone button and also some cobblestone slabs. We're going to place down a stone button on top of this uh, polished anti block here. We're then going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4 cobblestone walls, which will basically be our catapult. Uh, that we'll kind of uh, get to uh, in a little bit uh, with adding planes to that. We're not going to add them just yet. I'll add them at the end to show you guys how to put them on. But for right now, we're just going to continue on with the ship. Uh, so continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Uh, after that, after this row of uh, cobblestone uh, slabs. Uh, we're then going to place down a uh, iron trap door on top of those two stone brick upside down stairs. We're going to place down a sign on this side and on this side of the iron trap door, only on those sides again. And right here on this side and this side as well. So you see that looks like that on the back. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a polished nanosite block there in the center. We're going to grab skeleton skulls and place down a skeleton skull like this on your side at about a, about a 45-ish degree angle. Uh, so like that on both sides there and then after that we're gonna place down a snow bun on top of this uh, Polished ASI block there on the turret and that's gonna pretty much do it for layer 5 as you can see We're starting to get a nice bit of the superstructure going up and you can start to see this uh, This uh, ship starting to come together a bit more anyways. That's gonna do it for uh, layer 5 Let's go ahead and move on to layer 6 All right guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 6 for layer 6 We're gonna go ahead and start off by uh, going to the top of turret 2 here We're gonna go ahead and basically build off of that so what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of those two iron trap doors like that. We're then going to place down a redstone uh, repeater in between those uh, iron trap doors. We're going to flick, flick it out to its uh, max sides just like that. 
With that finished, we're then going to place down an end rod on top of this polished andesite block, and that's going to basically do it for two, turret 2 and pretty much for all of our turrets. Uh, so continuing on, we're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of this one right here, followed by an iron trap door on both sides. Uh, we're then going to place down a uh, sign on this side and on the front side here of the iron trap doors, so just like this on both sides. With that done, we're going to take our polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 back. Uh, so we have a nice row of four here. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on either side, just like this. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves an end rod. We're going to place down an end rod on both sides, like so. And then grab ourselves skeleton skulls. We're going to place down a skeleton skull uh, on both sides, just like that. With that finished, on top of this uh, stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a end rod, like so. On top of these uh, end rods right here, we're going to grab ourselves stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of those two end rods. And we're going to place down an iron trap door in between the two stairs like that. Uh, with that finished, we're going to place down two polished andesite blocks on top of these two in the very middle, like so. Uh, we're not going to do anything in the middle here. This is all done and just a waiting place, which we'll add a little bit later. We're going to go ahead and go all the way back here to our crane. On top of this uh, polished andesite block, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by an upside down stone brick stair coming off the cobblestone wall, uh, just like that for the crane. That right there, guys, is going to do it for uh, this there. Almost, actually, uh, we have one last detail thing, which we're just going to place a stone button on this uh, polished andesite block on the inner side. But now, that's pretty much it for uh, layer 6, and with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 7. Alright, guys, so moving on to layer 7. So, for layer 7, we're going to go ahead and uh, go up to the, basically, Connie Tower superstructure here. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this uh, polished andesite block, followed by a sign that comes off the front of the stair like so. We then want to place down a skeleton skull on either side of this stone brick stair like that. Uh, we're then going to place down a polished andesite block back from the stair, followed by a stone brick stair uh, like this, coming off of the polished andesite block on either side, with the sign coming off the front of the stair like so. Uh, you make sure you don't type in the sign either, uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a stone brick stair here, uh, basically in the middle there, followed by an iron trap door. On both sides, we're going to place down an item frame on the side here facing toward the outside here. We're going to place down a glass block in it, so basically make it an air search light or spotlight. So a uh, item frame with glass block like that on both sides. And then along, along the back here, we're just going to place down a row of three of signs all the way across. This row also would be basically the layer of which the uh, bridge is located, so the bridge would be in this section right on here. Uh, with that done, we're going to go and then place down a cobblestone wall. On top of this uh, end rod right here, followed by one more that goes back on top of this uh, iron trap door like so. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves another brick. We're going to place down another brick full block like so on top of this polished andesite block for the smokestack here. And then a uh, another brick half slab like that going back. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go all the way back here to our crate again. We're going to place down a stone brick st stair on top of this uh, cobblestone wall right here. We're then going to place down a second stair uh, on top of this upside down stair like so. Uh, we then want to take signs, and on either side of this stair right here on top of the cobblestone wall, we're going to put down signs on the inner side. We're going to place down an item frame, come off the front of the stair, and then a glass block in the item frame. Light that for, again, what would be another uh, like spotlight or searchlight. With that done, that's going to do it for uh, layer 7, and with that we can move on to layer 8. Alright guys, so we're on to layer 8. So for layer 8, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to the top of this stair right here. We're going to place down an iron trap door. Uh, we want to place down a sign coming off the front of the iron trap door like this, followed by a item frame like this on both sides. With that done, we're going to take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of three across the top here like so. Uh, we're going to put down signs on uh, basically uh, the uh, side right here facing the front and also the side out here facing the side. And the same thing over here like so, just like that. Once you have that done, we're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of this stone brick stair here, followed by a uh, skeleton skull like this on both sides. Uh, with that finished on this uh, iron trap door right here, on both sides we're going to place down an item frame to kind of close it off like that. And then on the back here we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off this polished andesite block, followed by an end rod coming off of either side of that skeleton skull. With that done, on top of this cobblestone wall here we're going to place down an end rod, on top of this cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down another cobblestone wall like that. Going back to our crane now, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this, uh, this uh, stone brick stair right here. Uh, we then want to place down a stone brick stair kind of coming off at an angle from this one right here. So, something just like that. 
And uh, we also want to place down an end rod, which will be coming down like this, uh, kind of on the back of the stair like that, which will be pretty much the cable there for the uh, crane and all that. And uh, once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for uh, layer 7, I believe, or we might be at uh, layer 8 here. Got to double check. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's layer 8. So with that, we'll move on to our last five layers, which are basically going to be layers 9, 10, and 11. And uh, we'll pretty much uh, finish this build off. So with that, let's go and move on to our last five layers. All right, guys, these last five layers are going to be pretty uh, simple. Layers 9, 10, and 11. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do to get started is we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of this polished ASI block right here. Where they're going to place down a sign on either side of it, of that stone brick stair like that on both sides. And we then just want to place down a skeleton skull on top of the stair like that. Very simple. Uh, now going to our mast here, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door on top of this row here of cobblestone walls. On top of this end rod right here, we're going to place down a second end rod like so. And then we're going to place down a third end rod going up, so it should be basically at level with this skeleton skull right here. We're going to place down an end rod that comes off of this uh, end rod right here on either side like that. Followed by a second end rod as well. So you have two end rods that come out on either side like that. And then we want to place down a skeleton school on top, which we actually need to break that end rod right there in the center. Place down a placeholder block, place down the skeleton school, and then we can place down the end rod back like that to pretty much make the mast. And that's what we're going to do for that. Uh, going back to our crane here, uh, on top, top of this uh, end rod right here, we're going to place down a stone brick half slab. So like that. Uh, not like that. Uh, like this. Followed by one and two end rods back. Where they're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this cobblestone wall. And then we're going to place down a total of one and two end rods going up like that uh, for the crane. And uh, once you guys have that done, this is going to basically do it for the uh, IGN Yahagi. Uh, so pretty nice. Uh, came out really good. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to doing the planes real quick. They're very nice and simple and uh, pretty easy to do. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to put those on. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to uh, putting the planes on. Alright guys, so the planes themselves are very simple to make and uh, very simple to add. Now the cool thing about these is you can build these flying in the air next to the, the, uh, the ship because these would be scouting planes, so you could have them scouting around, you could have one landed in the water and uh, being picked up by the crane. There's a lot of stuff you can do with these planes that uh, it's pretty awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and pretty much uh, add them on. So uh, what we'll need to do is we will need to grab ourselves a placeholder block. Since we don't have an iron trap door on this side, we're going to need to place down one so we can put down this dark oak wood uh, fence gate like this on both sides. Uh, this is going to be for the first plane. There would be typically two carried by this uh, ship. And uh, one would be pretty much stationed ready to go on the catapult. And one would kind of be stored at a forward position like this. Uh, so we have basically these two uh, wooden trap doors just like this. We're going to place down a green carpet on top of both of them. Uh, so just like that and like so uh we're going to take a birch wood half slab we're going to place it down in the middle like this followed by a zombie head that comes off of that uh slab like so uh with that done we're then going to place down a dark liquid stair after that half slab so you get something that looks just like that it's a very simple design but works really nice again special thanks to the red deer for uh making that design and everything for the ship anyways uh going back to this uh section here to put it actually on the catapult uh we're going to place down a dark liquid stair Placed out a birchwood slab, a zombie head, uh, again the uh, dark oakwood fence uh, gate on both sides like this, and a green carpet over the fence gates like that, and that's pretty much how you do the plane. It's very simple. You can also have the catapult turned to the side and ready to launch a plane as well. Uh, adding these planes gives you a lot of versatility on what you can do with the ship to kind of give it more life, give it a little bit more action, so that's always really cool. But anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for the IGN uh, Yohagi Inc. Uh, Anglo uh, or uh, Agano class uh, cruiser uh, very cool uh, ship and came out really good and hope you guys do enjoy it and it's a good introduction back to BAFTA builds anyways guys thank you guys uh, for watching if you guys do it use this design I do ask that you guys to be proper credit for it this be anything from a sign of the build tweet to my channel or this uh, video if there's a pain social media sites just be sure to get proper credit for the build that's all I ask for when doing these tutorials it helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting so as long as you guys give me credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Big 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.